Well, hi everybody. Um, this is just a quick uh, uh, YouTube video to uh, ask for some help. Um, very quickly, it's to do with this. Um, this is one of my favourite um, locomotives which I've had for a while. <clears throat> and it ran really well. And then all of a sudden it started, um, the motor would, would, would run, but the loco wouldn't go anywhere. And it sounded like the worm gear had disengaged from uh, the drive uh, cogs, if that's what they're called. And uh, I, I simply thought that, that that's what happened. So, so I carefully took the top off um, the locomotive and this is what I found. This is the, the motor and chassis. If I hold it up, look at that. Um, when I lifted the lid off, it literally, I'll bring it up closer, it literally fell apart. Um, <clears throat> which I'm not, I'm not happy about at all. Because when I did some research on this, and there are a number of people um, on eBay as well, actually, there are a number of people, as well as the internet, who have these locos, and there are a couple of people selling them on eBay um, with the same um, problem. They're saying that the, the drive cog um, that the worm gear goes into is not connecting to the cog that's on the wheels. So they're not turning the wheels. You can hear the motor turning. Another said his uh, chassis is cracked. And yeah, further in further investigation, I've discovered that uh, they suffer with the same metal fatigue as some of the other locomotives. Well, uh, you know, you can believe it. I, I had the name of the metal in my head, beginning with M and I've forgotten it. Um, <laughs> one of these days I will write things down. Right, so the help I need, I mean this is no good now, absolutely rubbish. The motor's fine, um, it came with a uh, decoder um, which I've uh, removed um, so I don't damage it. Um, uh, yeah, when, it, when I took the top off and it fell apart it also damaged the links. Um, I'm, I'm not very happy about this at all. I did contact Peter Spurs to see whether or not a new chassis could be purchased uh, with links. Um, but uh, they said Hornby don't make this part. I've emailed Hornby to see whether I can get some sort of response from them. And I will ask them that uh, they did have a, a return part for the, the for the class 31 that suffered badly with this metal fatigue and uh, they were swapping locos for people now uh, they might do nothing at all on, on this occasion but they might help let's wait and see if they do help i'll update you um the locomotive is the um the royal scott let me try and get it in shot 7p class um, I've also been told they use the same chassis on the Patri Patriot class locomotive. Um, can I ask, if does anybody out there have a chassis like this to sell? Or do, do you know of a... I've had a look on eBay um, for second-hand chassis for this class or the Patriot class. But there's nothing suitable at the moment. Hope this gives you an idea of what this, the chassis looks like, even though it's flopping all over the place. Um, if anybody out there knows where I can buy one, um, is there a place out there you can go and buy second-hand components? I, I don't know. I've just I've, I've searched the internet. I can't find anything. But are there any experienced modelers out there that may have a chassis to sell, or know where I can look? Uh, I think the likes of Peter Spurs may always all come back with the same 
um, response is that oh, Hornby don't do them, uh, the chassis. So I think it's going to have to be a second hand um, website, company, whatever. I will continue to look on eBay. My only concern is if someone's selling a chassis the same as this, will it suffer with the same metal fatigue? That's one of my questions to Hornby. Was it restricted to a batch or was it restricted to a model? Um, who knows? But any help um, from experienced modelers, um, I would very much appreciate it. Um, you wouldn't believe how angry I am about this. I really love this locomotive. But uh, look at the damage it's done. All this lot fell off. As soon as it lifted the body up, it just fell out like that. Bloody annoying. Anyway, thanks very much for your time. Bye for now.